Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and thank you for tuning in to this broadcast today. I want to talk to you about building a wall. We hear a lot today about building a wall from between Mexico and the United States, but I want to talk about a different kind of wall that was built in Nehemiah. And uh, I want to speak to you a little bit about emotional health when I talk about this. Nehemiah went back to Jerusalem to build a wall that had been torn down, had been burned down and desolate. Nehemiah had a tremendous burden from the Lord to go back and do something about this situation. When he went back, he got some men together and encouraged them to rebuild this wall, and they encountered a lot of opposition from their enemies. While building the wall, they faced ridicule and threats of all kinds. They had, they had to have their weapons in place while they worked. Finally, they finished the wall, and it was said by other people, and they perceived that it was wrought by the Lord. God intervened and helped them through this struggle, through this difficult time. I'm sure it was a very stressful thing, a very emotional time where their life was being threatened every day. But they finished the wall. And thank God they finished the wall by the help of the Lord. And it says in Nehemiah 8 and 10, after they had finished, Ezra said to them and told them an Amplified Bible, Go your way and eat the fat and drink the sweet drink and send portions of them whom nothing is prepared. For the day is holy to our Lord. And be not grieved or depressed. I want you to notice that. Be not grieved or depressed. For the joy of the Lord is your strength and stronghold. Notice Ezra told them not to be depressed or grieved. Not easy to accomplish something when you're always being threatened. There's a lot of abuse situations going on today. There's several different abuse things that can happen in the life of people, and it's quite a struggle. God help all of you that are going through those type of situations. God will help you if you intervene and pray for God's help. Notice he told them to combat grief and depression and having the joy of the Lord in your life. We need the joy of the Lord in our life every day if we're going to be able to cope with all the things that are going on in this world today. Many people are facing depression today. There are a number of reasons why people are depressed. There can be physical reasons that bring about a clinical depression, and some people have to take medications because of hormonal imbalances or different things. And then it can just happen, uh, depression can happen from many, many other things. It can happen from the death of a loved one or a close friend that brings about grief or depression that becomes really severe. Uh, the greatest stressful session, situation happens when uh, a husband or a wife loses a spouse. They say this is the most stressful thing that can happen, especially when people have been married a long time. Another stressful thing is the loss of a job or income. Another one involves severe illness or a disability. And there's many more. The things mentioned can bring about severe depression. But there is a solution, friend, to all of this. And I want to tell you a close communion with, communion with the Lord will help you overcome many of these stressful situations. You say that's an old cliche and I heard I don't believe it works. I want to tell you walking with God will bring you great victories. Talking to the Lord, not just being in a uh, distressed situation all the time, but a prayer life that starts with praising the Lord and thanking the Lord. And I want to remind you of what Ezra said to them. Remember one thing. The joy of the Lord is your strength, and when you're happy in the Lord, He will bring about great strength in your life. And when you get close to Him, He will bring you joy and help you to overcome all these difficulties. I pray for you today if you're going through one of these situations, but remember you can rebuild that wall that's been broken down. God will help you, and remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. This is Raymond Mayfield. I'll talk to you again real soon.